lovers, how are you guys doing today? So I am super excited for this video because I'm going to be talking about all the indie makeup releases from the past week or so. And I just want to thank you guys so much for all of your positive feedback for switching this to the indie makeup releases. Focusing more on indie, like I said, mainstream. If I have thoughts, it might be at the end. But for the most part, we're going to be talking about indie brands. And I'm so glad that you guys liked the idea liked the idea and appreciated it and let's just go ahead and jump on in so it would honestly not be my video if i didn't start off with a product that i meant to talk about last week that was right in front of me that i somehow have no idea how but i forgot to talk about so first i want to talk about this palette from belegant cosmetics and there is no name for the palette right now i don't know what the name is but they posted it and they said yes or no you guys don't understand how many new things we have coming in the next month um, so, I feel like this reminds me so much of the September Rose Slush Palette that came out, or I'm not sure when it came out, but it recently got really popular and I do have a video on it, but it looks more like a neon version and I do think that this is pretty. I really appreciate, like, there's a row of, like, yellows, a row of, like, well, the blue, blue row is a little, I would switch things around a little bit, then there's greens like red tones and oranges and then a row of like pinky purples and I do really like this color scheme I think it's very pretty I could see doing a lot of different looks with it um, I'm curious to see what the price range is going to be but I do like it so I'm very 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 excited about this launch so this is from JD Glow Cosmetics and they just came out with three new pressed highlighter multi-chromes and they do have a bundle it just launched like literally an hour or maybe two hours ago and I did buy it um, so I'll leave a picture on screen of all three shades. I only know what one of the shades swatches like. I don't know why. I just bought all three because I just... Something came over me and I saw how beautiful the first one was, which I'll talk about in just a moment, that I was like, I, I just need them all. And I'm dis I'm a little bit disappointed because I was on the website like right away and I ordered the three um, and they were $16 each. Um... And I did find that Trend Mood has a promo code for like 10% off or whatever. Anyways, I made the purchase and then I saw like they posted like that there was a bundle and I went back on and they have all three together now and you're saving money by buying all three and I bought all three individually. So I reached out to them and asked them if I could have the bundle pricing because I was, I was so fast. I was there right away because I was so, so excited about Cloud9. So let's talk about Cloud9 for a moment because... It's so beautiful. Okay, first of all, let's talk about the name. I don't know if it's like a shade or if it's just co a coincidence that it is named Cloud9 and Nikki Tutorials just came out with a highlighter called Cloud9 even though it honestly looks more like Space Baby with like the purpley um, blue duochrome. Anyways, I'm going to leave the video on screen. I'm going to take the time to edit a video onto the screen because it is so beautiful. It is just draw dropping like Oh, I just live for duochromes when it like goes from one shade to the other and you can see it transform and the glow is so beautiful and I do have quite a few products well quite a few I, I probably have like 10 different single products from um, JD Glow and I feel like they're really really high quality really beautiful I honestly don't think I've used them on my channel yet so if you guys want to see a video on that definitely let me know but I just died over seeing this and I don't I don't know if it's gonna work on my skin tone but It'll be an eyeshadow. I don't care. I just I just could not deal with how stunning this video is. Actually, I will go ahead and post the other video too that they also posted. Um, it's swatched on a deep skin tone and it looks so, so beautiful. So I'm just, I cannot wait to get that in the mail. Honestly, if you guys want like a little highlighter face swatch video, just let me know of the three shades. But it looks so stunning on like the light skin tone and the deep skin tone. It's just so good. So next, Rude Cosmetics is coming out with a Blackjack 21 palette collection, and there are three different palettes in the collection, so I'll talk about them as I go. The first one is the Bad Girl, and I feel like this is definitely one of the palettes that kind of has like pops of things that are interesting, and I know like because of the amount of shades that I already have and everything, if I kind of just cover over the shades that really speak to me, like the bright yellow, the few green metallic shades, and the bright green shade, everything else I'm like, nah, I could live without. The next one is the Mean Girl, and again, I like, I feel like this is a little bit more interesting. It's like 
warm tones with like pops of green and like a taupey shade and I don't know I do like the color scheme of this and like the pop of really bright pink so I like the color scheme but again I don't feel like it's something I need and then the last one again really like the color scheme here it's the tough girl and it's lots of warm pinks and reds and some neutrals but overall none of these like really speak to me like you must try me like I'm not like feeling like that but I do think that they're pretty and um I could see a lot of people liking them okay so next um so this is from makeup maniac maniacs cosmetics I think last time I talked about them I called them makeup mania cosmetics but it's maniacs um and this is a collaboration with CC La Rouge and it says that she is a fierce Puerto Rican queen from Chicago so she is a drag queen um I'm not I'm not very familiar with drag queen culture so I'm sorry that I didn't already know that but I do really like this palette I feel like I've talked about a few different things from them recently and their aesthetic doesn't really speak to me personally as much but this is really really pretty it is called the this is the um, never canceled palette and it does have some pretty some pretty funny interesting names and yeah I really like the color scheme I feel like it's definitely more of a rainbow palette and it's almost entirely mattes and then there's the row of glitters I'm not a huge fan of like chunky glitters like that I'm like I rather just have metallic shades and add a, a glitter like liquid eyeshadow on top if that's what I want but overall I think that the color scheme is really beautiful and I think it's just visually like very capturing to the eye next another thing I'm excited about um Gabby MUA Gabby T MUA she posted this video on her Instagram and she said a sneak peek from Alamar Cosmetics and she said can you guys guess what's new I feel like it's obvious to say like the lip gloss is new because she's applying lip gloss but at the same time I'm like wondering like is it the highlighter I don't know but I really really like the Rene Rene Rena Rena del Caribe jeez <sighs> let me let me think about how to pronounce this Rena del Caribe Rena del Caribe okay I honestly just second guess myself all the time but I really enjoy that palette and I actually love the look that she's wearing in this video too using that palette so I really want to recreate that so I'm, I'm just excited to see the brand expand and keep doing really well. I think that the brand is really, really cool. And also, you know, who knows, it might end up in a future BoxyCharm, whatever is coming next because she had the palette and now this month is the br brushes. So I'm here for it. Um, I don't know if this is a new release per se, but I did want to go ahead and give it a little shout out. And this is um, Joy Lorraine Cosmetics and it is the Paradise 18 color palette. And I want to mention the picture I'm putting on screen is from um, Indie Makeup for Color Girls, which if you don't, guys don't follow them, you definitely should. And she featured this palette, and I think it looks beautiful. I really love the color scheme. Um, I don't know. I feel like I feel like there's a lot you could do with it. I'm I think a certain type of way. So when I look at a palette like this, I feel like it's a little bit jumbled. Personally, I don't like palettes that are jumbled. I like to like. I want them from lightest to darkest. I want color families together. Um, I just, I prefer that kind of layout and it really throws me off. So I'm not like dying for this palette, even though the swatches look really beautiful and really good. But I think that if I was like tech savvy and I went on like the computer and I rearranged the shades into how I would do them, I would probably want the palette. <laughs> I feel like the way that layouts are can make so much difference for a palette. So I think it's beautiful. Do I need it? Probably not. But oh my gosh, look at that metallic red shade. I'm dying. Definitely, definitely a very beautiful palette. So I wanted to go ahead and show that to y'all. Next is another look at the Fall Fusion palette from Blush Tribe. I'm so excited um, because two different beauty influencers who I really enjoy, their names are in the palette. Um, two different influencers, which I followed on Instagram now, their faces are on, t on the front of the palette. And I'm just like, I feel like Blush Tribe is Blush Tribe is doing everything right. I'm so excited for them. I have the Hasina 2 palette, which I'm going to do a week of. Probably not this week because I have a different one coming up. But maybe the week after it'll be ready. And I'm like so excited about that. And I kind of want to buy every single palette that they have. Not going to lie. Um, but I am very excited about this. And I think it looks beautiful. And I feel like it's, 
it looks like a very nice fall palette. I've been asked to do a fall palette and part of me wants to, but at the same time, I feel like I just do whatever I want all the time. Like it doesn't matter if it's fall, winter, spring, summer, it doesn't matter. Anyways, I got distracted. I think it's beautiful. I love seeing it now as an actual palette because we were seeing it before just as what it looked like um, in editing, like graphics. So I think it looks really pretty. Um, next is a another collaboration and this is the Glow by Glory palette. Or sorry, the Glow by Glory is the brand. It is the Glow Up palette and it's in collaboration with Beauty by Benji. She has an Instagram. She's seriously so pretty. Anyways, <laughs> um, the palette is pretty, but I feel like honestly it dep just depends on you. For me, it's not... It's not something I feel like I need. It's like a warm tone palette with a pop of blue, which we have seen so much lately, but it is cute. And the mirror says, be bold, be brave, be, but always be you, Benji. And I think that's so cute. I like the packaging. JD Glow Cosmetics is coming out with another product. Um, they are doing sneak peeks of their fall products, and these are their liquid gel liners, which they do already have some shades of these. I believe that they are more duochromes. I have not tried them. If they were eyesh liquid eyeshadows, you'd have to like literally hold me back. But because they're liquid eyeliners, I'm not good at liquid eyeliner. It's just not my just not my forte. So these are a pass for me, but they do look really, really beautiful. I wish that I was better at liquid eyeliner so I could enjoy these. But I think that they're stunning. They look so, so pretty. And they're not even swatched or anything yet. Um, oh, they're metallic liquid gel creams. Okay, so I'm not sure if these ones are going to be duochrome like the others I think the others have a different name slightly, but either way they look absolutely beautiful and I'm just imagining like Some really pretty looks especially the purple like that's I'm oh, sorry purple I'm literally staring right at the orange and I said the purple No, the orange shade that's like your perfect pumpkin spice um, liquid liner <laughs> Okay, so next, M Cosmetics is coming out with some lipsticks, and I'll leave the picture on screen, obviously, as always, and I feel like the formula looks nice. They look very, like, creamy. They look like they're kind of like a satin finish, um, so I enjoy that from just looking at the picture, but I feel like none of the shades really speak to me. There's, like, some really light pink shades, which is not the color for me, even though whenever I wear pinks, you guys always compliment me, but I'm like, ugh. I just it's, it's just not me I just don't like like the Barbie pink lips I just feel weird in them um, and then there's some grungy shades some like deeper brownish warm toned shades which are really great for fall but I just feel like I don't need it I don't need it I already have so much trouble talking myself out of highlighters out of eyeshadows yeah that's basically it highlighters and eyeshadows that I'm just like I don't need any more lipsticks <laughs> Okay, so next I wanted to talk about Bahi Cosmetics, and they are coming out with a foundation, which I think is really cool because you don't see super small indie brands come out with foundations or concealers or just face products in general as much because they're not quite as universal, and you have to have a shade for everyone, and I'm sure that the production cost is just higher than it would be to make, like, a few highlighter shades or a few eyeshadow shades that would work, like, basically cover your bases, whereas a foundation, you obviously need a bigger skin tone, and their skin tone range and at this time obviously people are pushing like please more shades more shades i'll be the first one to say that indie brands get a pass from me um for not having a gigantic shade range because they are small they are growing they have time and i think that the way that bahi cosmetics did it is really really smart um so you guys can see on screen they swatched like a lighter skin tone a medium and a deep skin tone and first of all they did the shades backwards just the same way as beauty bakery cosmetics did where one is the darkest shade and i think it's cool um it's never been something i really thought about like lighter shades to deeper shades and honestly i just thought it was kind of just the color line like light to dark but Either way, I think it's cool for them to switch it up and do something different. So they do have 20 different shades, which I feel like, like, A plus to them. There are huge brands that come out with less than 20 shades, so awesome. I really appreciate that. And the best thing is that um, it seems that the shade range is more, more for, like, medium to deep skin tones. But they did go ahead and include a mixer foundation, which I completely appreciate because... They tried to do as, as much as they could, and then they did a mixer so that you can 
make it lighter and get the shade that you perfectly need even if you don't if you're not super fair like me and you don't need a mixer to make it super light if you just need a tiny bit of a mixer to get the shade perfect for you i don't know i feel like that's perfect i personally appreciate bahi doing that there has been brands in the past and the first one i, I can think of is la girl cosmetics this is their pro coverage foundation they came out with a white mixer and i was kind of like really like you should come out with a shade range that's good enough you shouldn't have to have a white mixer and that's because they have i know that they are a gigantic brand who can afford that and just to show you guys just for example this is their lightest shade i don't know if you're going to be able to see on camera quite as much but this is literally like six shades too dark for me i did a lightest shade video on this and it was literally pathetic i look like i had self-tanned because i brought it like down my like chest and everything i looked I looked very, very, very tan in that video compared to how I normally look. But I just feel like for an indie brand, it's such a smart choice. And I feel like I've kind of got off on like a rampage. Rampage? Rampage. Uh, tangent? Geez, I don't know what I'm trying to say. Anyways, congratulations to them. Very excited about that launch. I'm not sure if I'm going to be buying it yet because it is a demi matte finish with a luminous silky glow and it's supposed to be full coverage. Um, but anytime I see matte in a title anymore, I'm just like, I don't know. I don't know because I just feel like my skin is so dry, especially about to go into winter. It's going to get even worse. Okay. I have talked for like a million years. I actually had one more thing to talk about from Blush Tribe. They are coming out with an eyeshadow palette that is specifically aimed at people of color. And they actually asked for feedback on their post. So you can go ahead and comment if you are a person of color and you have a preference for your eyeshadow. They asked what specific shades you want, what shades you want to see more, that kind of thing. So that they can get the palette perfect. And I think that's awesome. Um, I feel like they have from what i've tried so far they do have really pigmented eyeshadows and i would compare the quality to juvia's place so i don't necessarily think like the pigment is how do i say this i don't think that they have to change the pigment for it to be a palette for people of color like i feel like any palette that they have just from my experience so far will work on deeper skin tones but maybe i think that what they're meaning is just like what specific shades do you feel like work for you even though honestly i see people of color wear all different shades and they always look beautiful so another colorful palette i feel like whenever i did like new makeup releases and it was like here's another neutral palette from tarte here's another neutral palette from too faced and now it's like here's a colorful palette from indie cindy brand and a colorful palette from the cindy brand and another colorful palette so i think that really kind of shows the difference but this is from um oh my glitter omg cosmetics and it is the pot of gold matte palette and it's available for pre-order and this does look pretty i really like the middle shade like that soft sky blue i think is really beautiful i don't need it i don't need it i don't need it <laughs> but i do like the shades and i feel like it's a rainbow palette but there's there's a variety of tones to where i think you could do like well, you'd probably have to add in like a shimmer shade unless you want to go on that. But you could do a warm look. You could do like a bluey green look. You could do purples. You could do blue and purples. I, I feel like from the shades that they chose, I can see a lot of different looks being done. So I think that the palette looks nice. Um, Next, actually, here you go. Here you go, neutral lovers. This is the Alluring Cosmetics Limited Edition Fall Palette. It retails for $24.99. And it kind of looks like one of the Morphe 24 was it a 25B and 25A palettes? That's what it really reminds me of. But, I mean, it is just a staple, warm, neutral palette for fall. So, wanted to throw that out there. And then we've got a little sneak peek from Love Lux Beauty, which I'll leave on screen. Don't really have a whole bunch to say about this, but it's just a really metallic orange shade. I think it looks beautiful. There's a metallic blue shade you can see and a metallic purple. And I'm excited to try more from Love Lux Beauty. I've tried a few things now, and so far I have liked them. So excited about that. And then another um, new product is from Dulzara Cosmetics. <sighs> okay, I hear people who naturally speak Spanish say Dulzara Cosmetics, and it sounds so beautiful. I'm like, <sighs> I wish I could say it <laughs> authentically, but I can't. But this is the Ser or No Ser um, highlighter. And it is a loose highlighter. It's a tiny little version. They have a full version, which is $18. And it was a collaboration with 
um, Ada Burgos 11 on Instagram and she said that some people said like $18 was too much or like whatever so she wanted to do a small sample size and collab again not sample but it's like just a loose highlighter and it's only $10 so super affordable and she went on Instagram and showed you how to use it and everything and it does look really beautiful really blinding so I wanted to go ahead and show that to y'all especially if you like loose highlighters and I feel like $10 is not a bad price um and the shade does look really pretty Okay, so next, this is from Breaking Beauty Cosmetics, and I kind of have mixed feelings. So this is the Among the Wildflowers palette, and I think that this is beautiful. It's stunning. I love the shades. I feel like it is such a soft, subtle palette, but it's still different at the same time. I don't even know how to describe it, but I really, really like the color scheme here. I think it's really stunning. Um, but it does retail for $50, which is a lot um, I did have a few people in the comment section telling me that it looked like ColourPop, and I agree, but ColourPop is, like, on a completely different level. They could pump out a palette like this, like, no problem, whereas an indie brand, it takes a lot more. And there is 12 shades, and I think it looks stunning. I think that the colors are beautiful, and maybe, maybe I would pick it up if it was on sale, and I would love to review this for my channel, but it's just, I, I don't know, I feel like it's definitely more on the expensive side. I have a lot more to talk about. My camera's about to die. As always, every single video I talk too much, I will be right back. Alright guys, hopefully the light... It bothers me so much if my camera's like not in the same position and the lighting's different or whatever whenever I get back, but... <sighs> what can I do? I, I honestly have the worst vision and I just go off of like the... The viewfinder above my camera. So sometimes if I don't get things perfect or if it's not in focus... I literally can't see it's just, it's it's a blur for me <laughs> and I've got my contacts in too and they're pretty strong contacts but it's still a blur so all right moving on I have to talk about okay this palette so this is from lick and lash beauty and it is a spice palette and it'll be available August 31st so that's today so when you see this video it's already available and it is 24 95 pounds um, and this is beautiful so what I said about this palette is that Whenever I see a lip palette and it's like really fun colors, I'm always like, I wish that lip palette was an eyeshadow palette. I would be all over it, especially because a lot of lip palettes have like reds and berries. I'm like, that would be a beautiful, a beautiful eyeshadow palette. So when I saw this, other than the yellow, the two yellow shades, I thought, wow, that looks like a beautiful lip palette, but it's an eyeshadow palette. So I'm really, really here for the color scheme. Um, and I love that there's all these different tones of reds and pinks and berries. Um... This is what the Naked Cherry should have been, all I'm saying. Um, but I think that this is beautiful, and I think I'm going to pass on it because I know I don't need it, and I'm trying to be, get better, I'm trying to be more selective, but I do think that this is absolutely stunning, and I'm definitely going to be watching out if anyone does reviews on this. I feel like all the shades, like, I think they look beautiful. Some people said, like, there's not enough variety, but I'm here for it. I'm 100% here for it. I think it is stunning. This next indie release I think is going to be very popular with a lot of people. It kind of doesn't have a hold on me and I'll tell you why in a moment. So this is the Pretties For Your Face palette and they're, they said they're going to be releasing it soon. And you can see the names are Book, Mary, Sarah, Winfred, Winifred, Winifred, and Black Flame Candle. And I just reposted it because I was like, oh, it's a new palette. So I posted it and everyone's like, ah, Hocus Pocus themed palette. I've never watched Hocus Pocus. So it, I, I know, I know I'm in the minority here. I, I know. I wish, I wish I had a cute boyfriend to just, just for one day so we could watch Halloween movies together and then I could get rid of him. That's it. <laughs> That's what I'm waiting for to watch Hocus Pocus. <laughs> I know it makes no sense, but I think I know a lot of people love Hocus Pocus. So if you're here for it, there is a new palette coming out. It looks like it's going to have four different shades. So I'm excited to see what the inside and what the actual shadows look like. Um, and it's from an indie brand, so I'm here for it. Okay, moving on. Um, next I wanted to talk about Mason, Mason May Cosmetics, Mason, Mason, Mason Cosmetics. Um, not exactly heard, sh her, sure how to pronounce that, but they are coming out with some lipsticks. There are four shades here and 
they look like a decent shade range like I feel like it's interesting like there's a mauvey neutral a lighter pink a red and then a more metallic lipstick you guys know how I feel about metallic lipsticks that's a no-go for me um but I feel like it's not a bad product to start off with and um, the reason I really wanted to mention them is because a portion of every order or every purchase goes to um, students to in need who need school supplies. So I thought that was really cool. I'm all about brands who give back and who do extra stuff. There is a fly on my camera. If you guys saw Friday's video, you already know that this fly tried to attack me and I am so ready. <laughs> you need to go. Okay. All right, so next I wanted to talk about a really cool new shade coming out from Kristen Lee Cosmetics, and this is a really cool duochrome. It's like a mix of like a pinky, orange, green shade. I feel like a lot of brands are coming out with these super intense duochromes right now, and I'm totally about it. Um, and she said that I believe I saw on the page that it is going to come pressed and as a powder. You could get it either way. So I'm curious what the price point is because I've seen these duochromes come out and they're like all like twenty dollars each for one shadow. And I'm like, I'll just, I'll just, I'll just blend three shadows together. That's what I saw X Barkage say, and I'm like, yes, yes. What? Why am I justifying a duochrome that has a few different shades when I already have like eight million shades and I could just do it myself? Like, is it really, is it really necessary? Other than inner corner highlighter. Highlighter is a whole nother story. But I think that that looks beautiful. Um, so, yeah, I wanted to go ahead and show you guys. And I just live for, I could just watch the color shifting all day long. So another exciting release, if you are into fall, Halloween, all of that, this is from OMFG Cosmetics and it is called the candy corn highlighter they said it's coming back and it smells like candy corn so i'm maybe they had it last year i'm not sure i wasn't familiar with the brand until recently but yes i want a candy corn highlighter that smells like candy corn i'm 100 percent, 200 percent here for this i love candy corn honestly i mean i know it's like sickening sweet but it's so good so i'm here for it i'm curious to see what the shade looks like swatched all together because I mean that's what's important you shouldn't buy it just for the packaging but also at the same time it's it, it's a candy corn highlighter like how can you not want to buy that okay last but not least for indie releases um I wanted to mention really quickly that strobe cosmetics is coming out with a bunch of new glitters and I actually just got the email from them announcing that it'll be out Saturday so that's yesterday for y'all watching this video um and these look beautiful they look like a bunch of different pretty shades but I already have pressed, not pressed, well, yeah, I guess they're pressed. I have loose glitters, I have pressed glitters, and I never, ever, 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 ever reach for them. Um, I always just use my liquid glitter eyeshadows, always, so this is a pass for me, but the shades do look beautiful, lots of different colors. I think they look stunning. I really like Love Cloud, the right, like, baby doll pink shade, and Ripple, the, like, really pretty teal shade. So really quickly, we're just going to go ahead and talk about any mainstream releases that I have thoughts on. And the very first one I don't even have to find to tell you guys, it's going to be the Naked Cherry Palette. I'll leave the picture on screen really quickly just so you guys can see it if you haven't seen it already. And I believe that it has now been confirmed that it is going to be real. It's also trademarked on the Urban Decay website. Or not Urban Decay. On the trademark website, you can find it through L'Oreal as trademarked. Um, anyways. I was disappointed by this. I don't think it's an ugly palette. I don't, I, I mean, I kind of like it a little bit. It's all berry tones. I don't hate it. I feel like I, if I had it in my life, I would use it. I would like it. I don't feel like I need it. Um, but I feel like for Naked Cherry, it wasn't what I wanted it to be. So I already did a full video what the Naked Cherry palette should have been. And if you guys are interested, I'll have that in the cards and I'll link it down below. Also, whenever I put everything in the description box, just in case you're curious on my full thoughts on what I thought it should have been. But I was a little bit let down, like Naked Cherry, and then it's like, oh, Naked Berry, you mean. <laughs> or Naked Grape. I, I had a few people tell me it should be called Naked Grape, and I agree. So Rihanna posted this photo. I'll put it on screen. 
um, and she said that something new is coming or she's hinting at something new and someone commented on the video or on the post and said we need more shades of gloss bomb and I was like amen and she's like oh my gosh I watch your video I was like yes go you but seriously I love the gloss bomb so so much it's so beautiful I love the shade that's currently available but I would love to see more shades anyways like I said I commented back and I had someone message me and I don't know how legit this is I'm just relaying information so please if they're wrong, if they're just lying, I, I, I don't know. I don't know how authentic it is. But I had a guy reach out to me who said that he works at Sephora and that they already got to open the package and they know what is coming from Fenty Beauty. They said it is going to be a silver pressed highlighter that's more for the body and a gloss bomb with silver glitters in it. So if that's true, the gloss bomb will be mine. <laughs> um, I'm curious to see what that will look like. And he also said that there's more gloss bomb shades coming in the future. I, 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 I don't know who he really is. He has like 5,000 followers. I, I have no idea. He said he works at Sephora. I'm just letting you guys know. I'm just hoping that he's right, that there is more gloss bomb shades coming, that there's a silver one soon. So I guess we will see. Okay, so I'm seriously in the middle of editing this video and I just got the notification that Treadmoon made a post. And it is true, a silver highlighter, a silver gloss bomb, it was real information. I'm legit about to ask this guy if he can be my secret informant. Okay, that's all I had to say. Bye. <laughs> Elf Cosmetics is coming out with a new palette and it is called the Opposites Attract Palette. And on one side, it's like purples and cool tones. And then on the other side, it's like warm tones. And I guess it makes sense. But honestly, who who doesn't already have these shades in their collection? I'm, I'm just curious. I really, I feel like Elf, everything they've done in the last few years has like Meh. like it, nothing really speaks to me anymore and I mean I, I do think that the purpley cool tone side is smart because people are kind I think they're kind of more opening to that like everyone's kind of over warm tones not me but a lot of people are honestly I feel like this would have been smarter if it was two miniature palettes two nine pan palettes released and then people could just get what they wanted instead of the entire palette because seven dollars for the purpley cool tone side I, I might do that, but $14 for the entire thing that I'm like, eh, do I really need it? No, no. Please from Urban Decay Cosmetics. This is the Elements eyeshadow palette. Um, and the swatches look really nice. They look beautiful. I appreciate that there's different colors. Um, the majority of the shades are shimmery, but it looks nice. I'm curious to see what they all look like swatched together. I feel like my lighting is really, really bright right now. Like I constantly have to do this. It's so annoying. I'm sorry. But I do like the way that this looks. I think it's kind of pretty. So I'll just have to wait and see how the entire thing swatches to see how I feel of whether it's a buy or a BYE. I wanted to mention this really quickly. Tarte Cosmetics is coming out with a holiday palette. And it is shaped as a pineapple. And I think that's really, really cute. I honestly think like having like a little pineapple in the background or having a little pineapple on your vanity, I think that's adorable. But at the same time, I'm like, what were they thinking? Because pineapple, like that, that, that. Unless you're SpongeBob and you need a pineapple all year long, like that's not, that's not fall. That's not winter. That's not holidays. That's summer. Pineapples are summer. So I'm kind of like scratching my head a little bit. And then you see the shades inside and it's like, oh, it's the same palette that they have released every year ever it literally I mean the shades are okay but it looks like every other one that they've already done and I'm like if I did a pineapple palette the yellow tones the orange tones maybe some greens like I just see it in my head I'm like that would be so beautiful of what I would do for a pineapple palette and this is just not it at all. Okay, so last but not least, I wanted to mention really quickly that Kylie Cosmetics is going to be coming to Ulta and I was just curious how you guys feel about it. Are you excited about it? Are you like, you don't care? Are you mad about it? Are you tired of seeing Kylie Cosmetics? Personally, I know people hate, hate on it all the time, but every product I've tried from Kylie Cosmetics I was happy with. Um, the glitter eyes were not actually glittery, but as far as being metallic eyeshadows, I still thought that they were beautiful. Um, 
so i'm excited about it and i'm excited for all the people who only shop in store who are going to be able to touch things and swatch them and decide if they want to buy them or not the other day i was actually having a conversation with april from one of makeup and we were talking about perfusion palettes and i was researching online and i found a promo code so i went over like messaged her i was like there's this promo code if you want to use it or whatever and she's like no i'm just gonna pick them up in target and i'm like i forget that people actually go in store and buy things that's not me They're, my ulta my sephora both over an hour away and also like there's no walgreens here so it's not like i can go hunt i never find anything good at tj maxx which is also an hour away so everything i every, everything i buy is online anyways so it doesn't it doesn't really matter to me whether kylie cosmetics is an ulta or not although i will say i'm excited about it because of the ulta points ulta's points are everything they make me spend too much money because I feel like I'm saving money even though I'm really saving money if I'm spending more money to save money probably not so let me just scoot on over to the middle real quick I hope you guys enjoyed this video um also wanted to mention really quickly in case you're curious what's on my face um my eyes are the Emily Noel Times Makeup Revolution uh the once palette and I'm gonna have a video up on it soon I did like a full like in-depth tutorial on how to do a cut crease if you have hooded eyes um, because I felt like that was something necessary for me to do. And I got white lines right here, which is great. I'm wearing... What am I wearing? I'm trying to remember what lipstick put on, but I can't... Oh, wait. Oh, wait. I know. I put on ColourPop Cookie, which I think is discontinued. And then I put on the Nick Or, sorry. The Jouer Lip Topper in the shade St. Tropez, which I don't like these that much. I feel like they're really shiny. So then I went ahead and put the Butter Gloss in Creme Brulee on top. So it's like a mixture I've got the Aurora palette um, on my cheeks. Um, bronzer is, what do I do for bronzer? Oh, it's the um, Ofra Blush and Bronzer in Format. Um, and the House of Lashes Starlet. I think that's everything to mention. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.